Hello and welcome to John's Hobby Room. Today we're going to be doing Hachette Spitfire issues 51 to 54. So we do know that issue 51 is pretty straightforward. It's the left, it's the cable for the left aileron, or I should say the right aileron, because we've already done the left aileron. We got the motor with the cable, and then we get the brackets for fitting it on the plane and most importantly issue 54 we get a wing flap which we can actually fit that's nice and metal that one so without further ado let's get on with the build okay so issue 51 is a steel cable we don't fit this actually at the moment but we can have a look at it there it is just exactly the same as before on this side and we know in fact where it fits which is just here and this tubing will fit between two little notches either side there and that will fit here in a later issue in issue 53 but there we go on the test fit and it fits on to issue 52 and then issue 52 we have the motor the label for the motor cable if we can get the parts out A little bit awkward, but they came. There is said mortar, and there is a cable, just like previous. So basically, all we do is unfurl the cable like so, and get that label like that. We have the backing paper. I don't mess this level and FX. I want to even this out. There we go. M4. What have we got on here? M1. And we know what the water fit here and the next issue which is 53 so let's move on to issue 53 just put them parts to one side now issue 53 parts checklist 5301 cog for the right aileron There's the cock. Yep, exactly the same as last time. 53 or two is the support block. Fifty-three or three is the motor brackets. And then we have an end bracket and two sets of screws 3 pm 1.6 times 3 mil and 6 pm 2 times 4 mil put them to one side the screws and first of all what we need to do is identify the position for the support block 5302 basically it is going to go there like so so there we go so 
not very good this kind of but it's only temporary as we know fix and support block 5302 in place with two pm two times four mil screws basically it's the first one second one okay so next step is we position the cable into the aileron now the aileron isn't to be fully down but partly down the downward position and there's a tab here that's got to be you can just see it there in the middle for the next step that will make sure that the flap goes up and down when it is operated if you put it in the wrong position it's going to get caught here and here and you're not going to get correct movement there as it's flapped down now so when we come to fit it properly we'll make sure that it's in the middle excellent so that's the cog in place Sorry, that's the cable in place, not the cock. Um, we've done the next three steps in the box, and now we need to put the bracket on the motor. Now this, you know, the instructions, goes just like that. Let's, uh, there we go. Goes in there fit two screws two of the smaller screws the 1.6 mil get them position this one in even though going to the metal there we go let's fit into place excellent then we need to position the cog nylon cog now it has got a shape to it it's not going to matter which way basically there we go and then we need the end bracket which basically goes into the see, there we go goes like that and we fix it in place with one of the longer screws let's get one of them Do, 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 do. Oops, correct. There is a locating peg on the bracket. There we go, that's in place. Now on this one I put some silicon grease on it. Hoping that will help it along. Now positioning this wise but basically Make sure that tab is in the middle. Oops, it's not a good start, is it? Get the cable out of the way. There we go. And now we need to secure this. Two screws. On there, let go. And there goes the second one. There we go. Now, obviously, uh, we're not going to uh, do anything with the mortars today. 
but basically that's 51 52 and 53 completed there we go two mortars two ailerons now if you do get these wrong you can easily take the motor off again and reposition uh, this steel cable they don't move because they've got two little notches either side making sure it stays central okay now so on to issue 54 which is the flap okay moving on to issue 54 we've got the left wing flap i'll do a quick parts checklist we've got the left wing flap arm of hinge 5402 another arm of hinge 5403 hinge fixing plates l1 and l2 on this sprue the plastic the hinges are metal as well as the uh, wing flap uh, two pins the hinges and five 1.7 mil screws there we go. to one side first of all we need the hinge number three is that one well you can see that or not it has got a little number three on it and basically we need to open up you only get two pins let's make sure we don't lose any of these basically they don't have any rough edges so they just sit in nice and free like so like that and we fit it on to the wing flap this one goes here and it has the number facing it down so that is where that fits and we do exactly the same with the other hinge which has number four on it pop the pin through as it stays there will be fine position that there like so both with the numbers down and then we need to fit these hinge covers and we need the sprue cutters for this basically they sit there like that so we just test fit these first and we have to glue these into place get me super glue right we use a little tray a dab of glue in here we won't need too much but uh, you don't want to put too much in it anyway right so now what we need to do is get a little cocktail stick and my trusty tin Take that hinge off, the hinge cover off there for now. I want to apply the glue in here. Put a little bit on the cover as well. And 
knew that would happen. There's the engine place. There's the cover. Let's keep that pressed down firmly. Let the glue set. That should be enough. And then we'll do the next one. Pull that up. Pull that back in place. Now these covers are marked L1, L2. Don't think it really matters which one you put on, simply because they're both exactly the same. But we all know what instruction manuals are like. And this one is L2, so we have got the correct one anyway. Pop that on there. Uh, we just need to let that set before we put it back on put the flap onto the plane let's move all this into the way and we'll bring the plane over now let's see if that is where are the hinges Got a nice bit of detail on this flap. And that come in. There we go. Those are the two hinges. Like I said, the numbers on the hinges face downwards. That does seem to have set all right. That's good. Make sure that this bar here, or tube I should say, it's not a bar, it's a tube, is between the notch here and the notch here. So you can just rock it slightly. So make sure it's there, because when you put the hinges on it, like so, they actually do go over the top of that bar, um, that tubing. Now what we need to do is fit it in place with screws. Let's get them into the bag. These little bags don't like me. There we go, finally. It doesn't really matter which hinge you put in place first, but I'm going to do this one first simply because it's flapping around. That's there. Put that one in place. Second screw. There we go. Don't over tighten the screws. Whatever you do. And that is the flap in place. There it is. That is heavy, that. Compared to the aileron. There we go. It's in place. Um, this cardboard will keep it nicely in position anyway. There we go, and that is issue 54 completed. Very nice, this. Not very difficult, all that. So, we know next time we're going to get the right flap. The interesting part is what will come after that. Well, I hope you like that. Let's knock this light off. There we go. Um, it is coming along slowly, very slowly but surely, 
um, the two motors look great now um, I did check the flaps because uh, looking at it on the video they did look further down than what they actually are and um, the tabs on those wire cables are definitely in the middle so they are positioned correctly and that flap is looking nice and bonny now um, there we go there she is there's the black one looking nice this is going to be a stunning model when it's finished so, uh, that capo stands not very good anyway i hope you like that um please have a look at my other videos uh, i've put on um, youtube um, i am doing it uh, well i have recently um, completed a revam mosquito um, and hopefully i'll be doing a heinkel in the uh, in future maybe in the next month or two we'll see how it goes but um uh, i really love this build it's just a pity we don't get a great lot of challenge um since the actual engine uh, we've not we've not even fitted the uh, cockpit yet which is a shame that's sat over there um and it'll be great once we uh, get the electronics uh, fitted so we can test all these motors and um check everything out the lights well we have already done the lights but getting everything up and running there's going to be a lot of cabling to cover uh, with the uh, wings but um, it's looking brilliant I think anyway I hope you liked it anyway please check out my other videos as I've already said and leave a comment and subscribe if you like to like what you see and hear thanks for watching see you again soon bye